There's a new report this morning on autism in America. Two new government studies report that 1% of all children in this country have it, much more than previously thought. Our own Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here with details. Jen, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Big news. A study published by the American Academy of Pediatrics asked parents whether their child had ever been diagnosed with autism. Previously, it was believed that one out of every 150 children were affected by the disorder. So these new numbers are a bit of a surprise. When it sort of came around 12 months and he wasn't pointing and he wasn't clapping and he wasn't saying mama or dada, I saw that my friend's children were doing that and he wasn't. From an early age, Allison and Michael Walmart knew their son Ethan was different. By age two, therapists suggested he may have ASD, Autism Spectrum Disorder. Ethan is hardly alone. The latest government study estimates that 673,000 children in the U.S. have autism. That's 113,000 more than previously thought. In fact, parents reported about 1 in 91 children ages 3 to 17 had autism, including mild forms such as Asperger's syndrome. Some experts say the term autism is overused, but view the increased awareness as a positive. Maybe the label autistic spectrum disorder is correct, maybe it's not. However, if we identify that there's a need, that means that we're going to do intervention. The Walmart family jumped into action early, and Ethan, who's now four, is making progress. I want to sing my song. We love our son, and we have a great time with him, and, but it, it's a struggle for him, and it's, so it's a struggle for us, and we just want him to have as easy a life as possible. Mm -hmm. Now, autism can be difficult to diagnose, and healthcare providers define it by different standards. Also, this survey was based on reporting by parents, but the CDC will release a study in the coming months with more rigorous reporting standards, and it's expected to show numbers that are similar to these, Jeff. All right, Dr. Jen Ashton this morning. Jen, thank you.